Goal to go on the nine. And we give it to Edwards. He needs a block. He's going wide around the corner, and he dives. Touchdown! <laughs> Edwards got in the corner, leaping. I've been asked a thousand times what it's like to be in the booth during a game. I thought you might like to know. And to provide the backdrop, we have the drama of the 100th Georgia-Auburn game. It was the first overtime game in SCC history and one of the greatest comebacks the dogs have ever staged. Georgia in white today, Auburn in blue, and here to tell you all about it, the legendary voice of the Georgia Bulldogs, Larry Munson. All right, and thank you, Scott. Bright sunshine that looks warm, but it's not, because a lot of us up here in the press box area have closed off our booths today. That wind's out of the northeast and hitting this side of the stadium, and the wind is a stiff one. Cold this morning, trying to get a little warmer now. But at the moment, uh, everybody realizes that the wind just might be a factor. Dogs get the picture, white tops, and of course, white bottoms or silver britches. Red helmets trimmed in black. Auburn now spreading out to receive the kickoff in dark navy blue with a silver helmet or a white helmet with the orange trim. The large white numbers, white pants, orange trim and stripes. Dogs try to save a piece of the season, but it would be an upset if it happened. Dot and I, two receivers wide right. Now we throw out in the right flat. Ward, one on one, beat a man. He's got 10 yards. He's gonna get 15, 17, 18 yards down to the Auburn 37 or 38. And the Auburn safety, Houston had to hit him again. Second down, nine, shotgun. And here comes Heinz Ward, wide left on a reverse, got over the 20 to the 15, maybe the 13 and out of bounds. First down, we knock on the door on the 10 and a half. We give it the pass with one blocker. He's got five, six, seven, eight, nine in the corner, touchdown. Patrick pass quickly. Larry Brown, a fine block for him out there. Selma Calloway, also a block, but that was earlier. Dogs put Patrick Pass alone, one blocker taking him around the corner, and he went ten and a half yards, and now it's seven to six. Extra point attempt is up there by Hap Hines. Good, and we are all tied up here early. Seven, seven. Snap to Damian Craig. Runs straight ahead to the 15, to the 20. Fumble the ball, rolls out over the 30. We dive on it, I believe, on the 33. George's ball. The quarterback on a keeper had already gained about 12 yards or so and then dropped the ball and it shot way up in front of him. George's ball just outside the Auburn 33. Dogs with a chance to score and try to get back into it. He was carrying the ball with one hand and... Corey Johnson, the free safety, raked it out of his hand from behind. And Bobo runs a toss sweep to Kurtzie, who slashes in and fights for a touchdown. Got half his body in before they could spin him and knock him back out. And it's 28 to 13. Two wide outs, two backs. Bobo underneath. Bobo back to pass, fires right down the middle, and it is complete in the 50, and there goes Heinz Ward for a long touchdown on the far end of the field. The dogs just really threw, what, 67 yards. Heinz Ward running left to right and coming right in the middle to catch a ball behind the defender and then taking off and going. Dogs behind 28-21. They've played Auburn off their feet in the second half, but they haven't caught him. Shotgun, four receivers. Bobo steps in the pocket, throws to Edwards on the 38, and they knock him down. First down on the 47, but watch the clock. It's 28 to 21, and the clock's running again. Auburn's got the clock and the scoreboard. Both teams have three timeouts left. 28-21, and they won the first half, 28-14, remember. Shotgun, Edwards back there with him. They snap it. He looks and looks, finds a man, dropped, open wide on the 38, down in the sitting position. Corey Allen trying to roll with the ball, though he had it right on the numbers incomplete. Fourth down and 15, four men out. Shotgun. Is this our last play tonight? Bobo back, going to fire, incomplete. 
Third and two. Third down, two and a half, not quite three. Auburn in control of everything here. They are on our 20, 36 and a half. Craig, the quarterback, gives to the tailback again, and little Cooper is stopped by the dogs' defense right there. We may call time immediately. The clock is at a minute and 19, and I'm afraid now we have run out of our timeouts. Ball on the 37 and a half yard line. We have no timeouts left. Auburn is fourth down here. They need three and a half yards for a first down, but the clock and everything else is in their favor. We had a shot at him by stopping him as dead as we did in that third quarter and doing it again early in the fourth. Well, here we are on our 17 and a half or seven points down. Trips left and one man right. Shotgun Bobo looking, looking, looking. Fires through it too high to a man open on the 30-yard line. Auburn's got six defensive backs. Neil Williamson points out to me. We got four receivers second down. We need seven points. Bobo takes the snap. They're coming on him. He fires complete to Heinz Ward, 33-yard line, and it'll be a first down. Now, the play was 16 yards and a first down, but there's only 53 seconds to go. Went to Heinz over on the right sideline. We're down by seven and trying to come down and save ourselves, but we're seven points behind, remember. 28-21 shotgun. Bobo looking, escaping, running to the right. Fires out in front of himself to Edwards of the 40, who runs out of bounds. Stop the clock, 43 seconds. Second down. We got eight on the play, but it's the clock you're watching. Auburn still leads 28 to 21. We are on our 40. In fact, we're across the 40 a couple of feet. Second down. We got to get seven points. Bobo retreats, fires complete to Matt Dixon, and it should be a first down on the 50, but the clock is 38 seconds. Bray was a man on the stop. Dogs up to the line. Bobo hollering at his receivers. Bobo goes back into a shotgun. 38 seconds, first down on the 50. Snap to Bobo. Looking, he's in the pocket. He fires, and it is complete to the Auburn 38, and they knock him down. There's only 28 seconds. Georgia flying down the field. Corey Allen caught that last ball. Dogs have come down to their 38-yard line, but there's only 28 seconds. Bobo hollering at everybody, and the whole stadium's hollering. Shotgun, the clock running against us. Bobo looking, going to the left side, complete to Heinz Ward, and then out of bounds, stop the clock, 19 seconds, down around their 22-yard line. Dogs have really taken a shot at this thing. Bobo has just passed us all the way down to outside of their 22-yard line. Heinz Ward barely got the tip of his shoe on that ground going out. We are on the 20. Two and a half, first down on the 22 and a half, but there's only 19 seconds. Shotgun, Bobo wants Edwards over on his right arm. Four receivers, snap. Bobo looking, floating, in trouble. They're gonna get him way back behind the line around the 35 and put him down and the clock is killing us here. We have no timeouts remaining. We can't do anything about the clock now. 28-21. The official has blown a whistle, I think, and stopped the clock. Yeah, because they're blowing his progress dead. They bring it back to the 30. Now they say start it. So we line up, and Bobo grounds the ball with two seconds. They move another second down to one. Now we got one second. Crowd didn't like that. They were mad. Well, it's going to be, <laughs> well, there's one second. What should I say? It's third down and third down at the about 18 to go. Ball in the 30. They gave us one more play, 28 to 21. We get one more play. We flew down the field 50 yards through the air, almost 60. Here we come up to the line. The stadium rocks and rolls. There's no way we can do it with one second. Snap. We pick up the blitz, and Bobo throws that thing in the end zone. And yes! Touch, touchdown! Touchdown in the goal line!
They tried to wrestle him out. All three or four officials are down there. They rule touchdown. Interfer Interference on the defense. It is a touchdown. It's 28 to 27. Now what are you going to do? The clock is out. The game is over. Now you're going to kick it and go overtime with him? Is that what we're going to try to do? He landed sitting down with a man wrestling with him. He was facing across the field. It'll be Hap Hines with Sanderson holding to try and tie it up. It's 28-27. Corey Allen caught that touchdown pass. Auburn immediately had finally had three men on him, and he was in a sitting position trying to wrestle him out of that goal line. Now... We set it down, and the kick is up. The kick is good, and we're all tied up. Now, 25 yards. You can either take it in and tie it up, or you got to go home. One back. Juan Daniels goes in motion. Bobo fakes, bootlegs right, stops, they sack him. He throws as he sacks him, and it is complete, and Robert Edwards is down to the nine. As he went down, and they say his knee, I guess, wasn't on the ground. He hit Edwards falling in front. Charlie Rose and Dan Evans, a free safety in the right corner, got him, and Edwards was suddenly there. Man, Bobo barely got that ball off to him. We're on the nine yard line. We're trailing in overtime, 35 to 28. Three wide outs, one back is Edwards. Goal to go on the nine. And we give it to Edwards, he needs a block. He's going wide around the corner and he dives, touchdown! <laughs> Edwards got in the corner, leaping in the corner. Now it's 35 to 34. So at the moment, one side's got seven and one side's got six in overtime. And Half Hines will try to tie it up and put us into another overtime period. Man. Now we're gonna try to tie it up. Auburn masses, they had 10, they're down to eight on the line. Now the kick is up, the kick is good. And here we go to another overtime. It's 35 to 35. This is kind of like an NCAA basketball tournament. Tie ball game, we'll have another overtime. Three receivers, Bobo in trouble, dumps it out here to Edwards on the left on the screen, and Edwards is going across the 15. He knocked the man down, he twists, he takes it down to the seven. He ran right over somebody. Houston, the big, strong safety man, he ran over him and then twisted around and Ware came up and got him. Edwards made a fine run after catching that screen pass on the left. And just think of what this ball game is doing to a lot of famous television shows. Break two receivers out to the right. Hines Ward and Wands Daniel, they're the only two. Bobo gives it to Edwards, who's got a blocker, and Edwards dives for a touchdown in the left corner. We pulled a big lineman out there in front of him who helped him get to the corner. I don't know if that was Fleming or Stinchcomb or who it was. Somebody in the far corner took him out and help Edwards get to that far left corner. Dogs have scored. Edwards just leaped in space. We've been waiting for a replay. I was trying to catch that lineman who pulled out there to help him. 41 to 35, gonna try to make it seven points. The kick is up, good. Now it'll be Auburn's turn. It's 42 to 35. You know, this. This would be a little bit hard to handle if they would play a whole bunch of these things. Second down, six. We're down in overtime. The third one, 49-42. Slot left. Two back side by side, and so we give it to Edwards. He needs a blocker. He got one block, 15-yard line, 10 and out of bounds. He got a good block around the 15. Spikes was a man that knocked him out. It's 49 to 42. We're going to have a first down. We're in the third overtime. We're trying to save ourselves and tie it up again. Well, here you are. Got to have seven points. We're in the third overtime. 49 42. Callaway shifts off to the left. We give it to Edwards, who cuts back in, and Edwards dives in there and scores. 
And it's 49 to 48. Fine slashing run, and there was a hole. Callaway went into part of that hole. And here we are again to try and force it into another one. Dogs come up to the line. Part of them got up to the line quick. Part of them have lined up wrong. Now Bobo waits and makes sure they go out and slot to the other side. Now Bobo takes it, gives it to Edwards with a hole at the tackle, and Edwards is going to be hit on the 18. He slashed for seven. Dan Evans, their cornerback, almost. Boy, if he had missed him, Edwards was going all the way in there. First down, barely first down. Two back side by side. We slot two men to the right. And Bobo is going to give it to Edwards. We pull a couple of linemen. He stumbles and staggers, but he's all the way to the about the seven. Spikes had to get him. A quick opener, and Edwards just running like he had fresh legs, just slanting outside a left guard with a hole. And he got it all the way to the six. Robert Edwards got nine big yards. Second down. Need almost two yards. Back and forth. Heinz Ward in motion. Toss sweep to Curtsy. Needs a block. Curtsy scores in the corner here in fourth overtime. Put in some fresh legs. Callaway led him in there. Well, it's 55 to 49. Kind of like the end of a first quarter of an NBA game. Auburn shotgun. The back, Williams is up back with the quarterback. Rusty Williams back with Damian Craig. Craig takes the snap, fires hard, incomplete. We almost intercepted. He overthrew a receiver on the 15, and one of our defensive backs dove. Ronald Bailey dove on the five-yard line, and there were two other backs just a few steps away. Tried to catch a ball and pick it off the grass. Second down. Auburn out on the 25, fourth overtime, and it's 56 to 49. Georgia leads. Auburn trying to tie it up and go into five overtimes. Shotgun. Damian Craig takes the snap. We're coming on him. He outruns a big man out of the 30, crosses back over 25-20, and we will hit him inside the 20 and drive him back. It's third down and three. Auburn needs only three yards. Shotgun, Damian Craig running to the right, slowly looking. We're going to chase him to the sideline. Now he throws it away out of bounds. Now it's going to be fourth down. He didn't take one of those receivers that we were frantically trying to cover deep in the end zone. It's fourth and three. What are they going to do for the three yards? Fourth and three. Four overtimes, and we're leading 40, 56 to 49. You almost forget the score. Auburn needs three yards just about. Auburn calls time with the ball on our 18-yard line, and this is a large play coming. Will they just go to get the three, or will they try to catch us flat-footed and go for the whole thing? 56 to 49. Three yards for a first down and 18 for a touchdown. It's 56 to 49. We are gathered around our coaches on the other side. The Auburn team in possession of the ball has stayed out in the middle of the field. A couple of Auburn trainers, three of them, in fact, went out there. Now the Auburn team comes running toward the sidelines to talk to their coaches. <laughs> I know we've had a game five overtimes this year. We've had a couple of those in America, but I don't know. It seems to me there was one that was even wilder than that. But this is enough, you guys. 56 to 49, four overtimes. Georgia players ask their fans to come up. Auburn has already come up for theirs. Fourth down and three. And now Georgia may take time. <laughs> so you none of the none of the Georgia people have left yet, Larry. That little section we've got down here in the left corner. Yeah. I don't think they're worried about getting out of uh, Auburn in a hurry, get sitting in traffic. No. It'll be worth it if they can win this ball game. I don't think they're worried about church tomorrow morning either. It must be close to tomorrow morning. Fourth down and three. Are they going for three or are they going for 18? What are they going to do here? Just keep the first down going and try and uh, keep moving it or will they try to catch us? Now, Auburn, shotgun. 
Two receivers wide, one is kind of slotted. Now one of the receivers goes in motion and Damian Craig takes a snap and he's coming wide outside and we come up and we hit him shy on the 16 yard line and we've stopped him and we have won this thing in overtime. Somebody stopped him between the 16 and 17. Whoever it was got up fast. The players have picked Jim Donnan up in the air and are carrying him off the field. I want to replay now. I want to know who made the tackle. The dogs have won in overtime 56 to 49. The players now have run down to the other end where Georgia fans have come down to the fence and the hedges to greet them. Players are trying to leap over hedges to get a little hugging. Georgia has upset Auburn 56 to 49 four overtimes. Georgia fans are still pounding on the backs of some of the players who are down there in the corner. Some of them also went over by the band and now both squads kneel down in the middle. And as television cameras have gone for Don and out in the middle of the field, I can't believe we won it and we won it in this fashion. I think your real enjoyment on a game like that with a sudden frantic finish and it falls on the right side of the ledger probably comes on your way home. I've always had a habit, wherever I was, of sprinting out to get to the transportation and getting out of the area, home or road. And on that particular night after winning it, uh, Hondo, my spotter for the visiting team and I, took off running and we had left our car parked almost a mile and a half away out on the main road that headed back toward 85. We were really parked a long way off. When we finally got to that little parking lot in the middle of thousands of cars, there was a bunch of Georgia people and the two of us begged a beer or two off them. So we grabbed these cans and then we jump in the car. And by this time, we're really talking about the game because coming out through that mass of humanity out of the Auburn Stadium, it was almost all Auburn people all around us. So we couldn't really let our feelings go. When we got in that car and headed back for LaGrange and then Atlanta, <laughs> then we were really talking and we were really celebrating that thing.